guys, my name is Amanda and welcome to my channel. I am so happy to have you here today. In today's video, I'm going to share several brand new snowmen as well as one repeat DIY snowman. Now, before I get into the crafts, I will say I know I sound absolutely terrible. As many of you know, I was in the hospital last week and I... I seem to have brought home the C virus with me because my entire family, including me, was diagnosed on Friday. We are all okay, just having some pretty annoying symptoms. So that's why I sound horrible if you're wondering. Okay, so if you like this video and would like to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. And also, please give me a big thumbs up if as that really helps me out here on YouTube. Without further ado, let's jump right into the DIYs. For our first idea, I'm going to share with you this adorable bucket head snowman. I'm going to begin with a glass round vase from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use black Sharpie to do the eyes and the mouth and an orange paint pen to do the nose, but you could use orange paint as well. I'm going to use one of these fluffy duster pads from Dollar Tree, fold it up and put it on the inside of my vase. I am then going to grab a little Dollar Tree bucket and a Dollar Tree sock. I'm going to remove the handle off of my bucket and then just shimmy my little sock down onto my bucket until the toe of the sock is at the top of the bucket. I will then cut out the excess sock and I'm just going to go ahead and glue this piece of sock inside of the bucket using hot glue and pressing it down. Then I will use hot glue to adhere my bucket upside down on top of this glass snowman head. Once that is in place, that is what this should look like. And I'm going to embellish this little hat with some sparkly leaves that I had in my stash and some lamb's ear leaves and a little bit of berries. You can embellish this with a bow or bells, whatever you like. Now I'm just going to take that spare piece of sock and using hot glue, I am going to adhere that spare piece of sock to the bottom of my snowman's head so that this will form the snowman's scarf. And here's what this looks like. I think it is so adorable. I'm sorry I don't have great lighting. It's a very gloomy day at my house, but the snowman is so cute. I hope you like it. For our next idea, I'm going to create another quick and easy snowman. So sometimes Dollar Tree has these snowmans with hats attached to them, but if you can't find that, grab one of these Dollar Tree rounds, flip it over, and grab a Dollar Tree tag sign that usually comes in a two-pack. I'm sorry I couldn't show you the front as I had torn the paper off, but I painted the back of the tag sign black with Waverly ink chalk paint and I painted the wood round with a really white chalk paint. I had this embellishment from a previous project. It is several garland ties from the Dollar Tree, some pit berries, and some ribbon that I had in my stash. Now I'm going to paint a face on my snowman using Waverly ink chalk paint, creating eyes and making kind of a zigzag mouth, but you can do whatever type that you like. And then I just used Waverly pumpkin chalk paint to create my little crooked nose. I think this is so adorable. I'm also going to use some Mod Podge at the top of my hat, which is why I did not worry about that little hole there. I'm just going to dab on the Mod Podge to make it look like it's kind of dripping down. I also dab some on some of that greenery and then I'm just going to take some fine glitter that I had in my stash sprinkle it on and allow it to dry and here is what I am left with a quick and easy adorable little snowman Today's challenge is a part of a recreation inspiration open challenge hosted by myself and my good friend over at the Crafty Art Shack. You'll definitely want to check out her channel. She does really awesome projects and she's also very down to earth and very fun. I really enjoy working with her. So today's is about finding another creator that inspires you and showcasing or giving credit to them for being your inspiration. You can either recreate one of their projects or do a video based on a video that they did. So really just supporting other crafters and giving them their due. So that is what I intend to do today and I am about to tell you who I am showcasing. I am so excited about this one. She is is very very talented and I know that if you check out her channel you will enjoy her. 
please don't forget to check out my friends and also check out our playlist, which will be linked in my description box as well. Today I am showcasing Rebecca Virginia DIY. She did a snowman video recently that inspired me to do another snowman video. I had done one not too long ago, but watching hers just gave me a whole bunch more different ideas. Not necessarily the same as hers, but my mind got to cranking while watching her video. She is so talented and she is so good at explaining things. I know you will love her. She will be linked below in my description box. Now here is an idea for a quick and easy little snowman family gallery. Just grab up a couple of frames from Dollar Tree. I grabbed three because I got these three bags for $1.25 for all three from the Dollar Tree. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and remove all the contents of my frames. So I'm just going to place everything aside and then I'm going to paint two with Waverly white chalk paint and one with Waverly ink chalk paint. I'm going to take my bags and cut them out. Now for these bags, one side is more detailed. One side has like a sparkle or a shine to it. So I'm going to be sure to cut off that side and put it back in my frame and reassemble my painted frame. I'm going to do this for all three and then I'm going to have an adorable little gallery wall. You could hang this up or you could display it on a vignette. I just think it's so cute and it only cost me a few dollars and it makes quite a statement. You could even do several more of these if you wanted to. So this next DIY is a recreation of one of Rebecca's projects. I absolutely loved it and wanted to do it myself. So I grabbed a muffin tin from the Dollar Tree and I grabbed a sponge brush from the Dollar Tree as well. I put Mod Podge on my sponge brush and then dabbed it in spots that I wanted to look rusty. I then sprinkled cinnamon generously over the places where I placed the Mod Podge. I shook off the excess cinnamon and continued to do this until I got the design look. Once I got the look that I wanted, I then put Mod Podge in the bottom of my cups as well because this is going to allow me to paint it and have the paint adhere better and not just scratch off. I dried my tin with my heat gun and then painted the bottom of my cups with Waverly White chalk paint. It does not have to be perfect as this is a rustic craft, but the good thing is that if you don't Mod Podge over it right away, you can scratch off any places that you don't want. I then used Waverly Ink chalk paint in this little tool to create eyes and dots to form a mouth. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to use my Waverly pumpkin chalk paint and this little dauber again to just create a little noses and here are my adorable little snow people once they are done i'm going to go ahead and embellish the top but i do mod podge over them first just to make sure that nothing i don't want scratched off scratches off now i have these garland ties from dollar tree i believe they come 12 or 14 to a pack i take several of them and i cut them in half until i get the size stack that I want, but you could use more or fewer. I tie them together with some doubled over twine. And the good thing about these is that they're very movable. So I can just kind of spread this out to form the kind of little swag that I want. And then using hot glue, I'm going to attach this to the top of my muffin tin. I have a couple of candle rings from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be cutting off some of those greenery pieces and also some of those berries. I am going to put a couple of greenery pieces on either side of this little swag and some berries right there in the middle. Then I'm going to take some doubled over jute twine, form a shoelace bow, leaving the tails as long as I want them, but you could leave them as long or as short as you want, and just gluing this in the middle of this little greenery swag. I think this comes out absolutely adorable. So thank you so much, Rebecca, for this inspiration. I also did add a little bell to the middle of my bow, but that was totally optional. And here is what it looks like. I absolutely love it. I'd like to make a couple of more as well. This would even be cute if you're still doing Christmas to do a gingerbread one.
next DIY is super fast but also absolutely adorable. These tiny little glass jars come in a five pack from Dollar Tree but you can get larger jars as well. I'm going to remove the lids and I'm going to paint the lids with Waverly ink chalk paint and paint the glass bottles with Waverly white chunk paint. I am then going to use my Waverly ink and my little daughter tool to create eyes and a mouth and then I'm going to create a little nose on here. These were so fun to make. Now I will tell you I did have to give them two coats of the Waverly white to get an opaque look but easy peasy and here's what that looks like. Now let's add our little nose. I love making these little faces with this little tool which is another trick that I learned from Rebecca and here's what these look like. I just tied a teeny tiny little jute bow and attached it to each hat and I absolutely love these. I hope that you like them as well. Okay our next idea you can find small wooden blocks at Dollar Tree that come in a three pack. You can also find large wooden blocks. So you could do several different things with this. I paint my blocks, four of them. So I used one pack and then one from another pack. With Waverly White Chalk Paint, I gave them two coats. And then I am just going to attach two and two together using hot glue. And then I had this little pick from Michael's. I honestly got it after a fourth of July and I thought snowman hats so I took these two little sparkly white hats and I just painted Waverly ink chalk paint right over the sparkles and it gave some nice texture and then I just glued my hat right on top of my snowman's head cut some Dollar Tree ribbon down the middle to form a scarf and tied it on. I created a face and buttons using my dauber tool, but I did not show that as I don't want to be too repetitive. I just trimmed the loose threads and also trim my scarf to the length that I want and yet another easy peasy project adding another little jute twine bow to the top of these little styrofoam hats and then I'm just going to take a little green bell that come in a multi-pack from Dollar Tree I'm not quite sure how many honestly and just attaching the bell to the middle of the bow for some embellishment haha <laughs> I'm hilarious today you guys and here is what that looks like a too much day cool for me I think but I think they're quick and easy and you can make all kinds of these it would be so cute to make a family so for our next idea I found a vase at Dollar Tree it was originally black but for another project during the summer I had painted it with some Waverly paint so now I'm going to paint over it I'm going to paint over the bottom part with two coats of Waverly white and then I'm just going to pick what line I want the white to stop at and begin painting with Waverly ink here's what this is going to look like just not have to be perfect and then I'm just going to create a face on here using a paintbrush and my Waverly pumpkin and Waverly ink I'm just going to create a larger face similar to the ones I have been creating throughout this video simple dot eyes and a uh, kind of wiggly mouth for this one. Um, this ridged kind of vase is a little bit difficult to paint on but I made it work and I think it came out adorable. I did put some little smile lines at the edges of the smile and I did use a little bit of my Waverly Ballet slipper on my thumb um, to create little cheeks. I then kind of blotted it out and went over it lightly with Waverly White just to kind of mute that pink so it wasn't quite as dark so my snowman has adorable blush cheeks then I'm going to create a bow with some ribbon I had in my stash by just folding it over and making one loop on either side taking another piece of the ribbon and scrunching that with my looped bow so that I have some tails I had some yarn handy so I just grabbed it and tied it around my bow tightly and then I'm going to dovetail up the little ends of my ribbon or tails of my ribbon. A dovetail is just you fold your tail over and use your scissors to cut a triangle upward like so and I really think that it elevates the look of the bow and just gives it a boutique finish. I am then going to attach a piece of ribbon around the top of the vase or the hat part and then glue my bow on. I glue a little snowflake that came from a pack from Dollar Tree in the middle of my bow 
And here is what this looks like. So easy and fun. If you found two of these faces, you could make a little snowman couple. That would be absolutely adorable as well. Of course, you could customize this with any ribbon choices that you like. I just put some pretty icy picks and some pine cone and berry picks from the Dollar Tree in mine, but you could put whatever you like. Now for the next idea, how about recreating your family out of these Dollar Tree canvases in snowman form? So I have quite a large family and it costs me around $6. It kind of depends on what you have in hand to recreate my family. I bought several packages of the these little Dollar Tree canvases that come three to a pack and I also bought one that's a little bit larger that comes two to a pack. I bought some extras just in case I made a mistake on the face. I bought these Dollar Tree wood planks that are meant to hang and I removed all the hanging twine. I then took some of these Dollar Tree wood planks that I had on hand and I hot glued one where my two larger wood planks met and also a couple on the sides and and in the middle there just to add some stability because this wood is so thin. I then proceeded to draw snowman faces on all of my canvases. Now I'm not a great freehander but I wanted these to look whimsical and fun. If you do not want to freehand these you could go on Cricut and just search snowman face. They have some really cute options but I just did mine all a little bit different and fun. I just put the eyes in the mouth and then I took another paint pen just created some little dots in the eyes. I used my orange paint pen to create the carrot nose and I believe these paint pens are from Walmart. I just put a couple of lines in there with my sharpie and this is one of the little grown-up snowmen. So for my boy snowman I'm going to be using this buffalo check black and white fabric that I purchased in a roll at Dollar Tree. I just cut a little piece. I was just measuring how much I needed there and then I make sure it's above my little snowman's eyes. I fold it around to the back and glue glue both sides down. I then run a tiny bead of hot glue where the fabric meets for the rest of the hat so it is all together. Then it scrunches up better when I go and kind of fold it accordion style and then tie it with a piece of twine or a double piece of twine. I did each one a little bit different. If the hat is a little saggy at the top you can go ahead and glue that fold down. Um, this one I think I glued that little fold at the top down but then I did my girl snowman which is me with red and black buffalo check which I also found at Dollar Tree and I put a little bow on her head with Dollar Tree ribbon. I recreated a snowman in the smaller canvas size for each of my children and I put everyone's initial there at the bottom so everyone would know who they are. Then I took my two plank signs and stained them with Waverly Antique Wax by rubbing it on and off with a baby wipe so that any gaps between my snowmen would look finished and pretty. I spaced my snowmen out exactly how I wanted them and then I glued them down with a mixture of hot glue and tacky glue. Originally I just did the hot glue but it didn't quite have the hold that I wanted so I did go back in and add some tacky glue. And here is what this looks like. Totally customizable to your family. You could just use one board if you have a smaller family or if you need to cut the board. You could use any type of fabric that you wanted for the hat and ribbons. Again, like I said, so super customizable, a very fun. I really enjoyed making this project and I hope that you like it as well. I really hope that you guys enjoy these DIYs today. Please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Take care and I will see you very soon. Here's a final look at all of my projects today. I truly hope that you enjoy them. I also hope that you check out my co-host and my inspiration for this video, Rebecca Virginia, as well as the playlist for this challenge for some super fun inspiration. I think it's really important that we support each other, especially around the holidays. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and stay safe, friends. You can subscribe to my mom's channel. And thank you for watching today's craft and stay safe.